all right you welcome to the next phase of our class and I'm going to show you some little things about how to develop your roof plan your roof plan how to do your concrete fascia and also how to put your roof on top of this building to make the bungalow a complete bungalow okay so quickly we're going to dive into the concrete parapet so the first thing you're going to do the first thing you're going to do if you want to do your concrete fascia or concrete parapet whichever way you want to call it you're going to the next level which is the parapet base the parapet brace you double click on it don't forget i told you anything on the project browser you double click so you go to your parapet base i think the screen don't mind the screen of my system is having some little challenge so i know it will be neat on your own so once you click on the parapet base you go on that component you see this arrow showing down you click it so you will now see model in place you click model in place click on casework click ok click ok then you go to sweep when you pick your sweep go to sketch parts okay sketch part then you follow the parameters of the wall of your building round follow the parameters of the wall of your building round okay so follow me carefully you follow it round 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 okay wherever you want the uh, uh, concrete fascia to follow that's where you actually follow okay so it must be loop everything must be closed like this if it's not closed maybe take for instance this place is open and i click this it will work at times at times it won't work okay so you should take note of this and sometimes you may have two openings if you have two openings like this it won't work so this world review will tell you more than one loop not allowed okay so you you are only allowed to open only one loop so every of the wall every line you draw in revit must be closely looped together okay let me trim it big trim you join here and here okay so you okay it now after you must have okay it the next thing to do is to click on this red button when you click on this red button this edit profile will come up then you say edit you open view now you draw your concrete fascia okay you draw your concrete fascia the way you want it to look so we've given it height of 600 from our levels then let's say it projects 700 100 100 100 100 okay so follow me closely i'm drawing the concrete fascia okay so now can you see we've drawn our concrete world fascia this is how we want it to look like so after drawing it like this you check it you finish it up twice okay did you see it then you finish up did you see your concrete fascia rightly done let's view it in 3d can you see it all round can you wow this is amazing so these are you you to achieve your what your concrete fascia while using revit now we want to put our roof we want to put our roof is a very simple uh, logic so after the level of parapet base the next thing is the concrete parapet itself 
the concrete parapet or you call it the roof base the roof base we can actually rename it to roof base okay to roof base because i feel it is the base where the roof we actually do or it will sit the roof base we okay it okay you see it here zero four roof base so you now go to roof on the architecture you see roof you drop it you see different types of roofs different type of roof roofs by footprint by extrusion roof by face surface facial gutter all of these roofs have its importance roof by footprint mostly you use it for hip roofs you can see it you can see it on the diagram they are showing us you use it for hip roof or gable roof roof by extrusion um of course if your roof have some certain shapes just like you're seeing it now you use roof by what extrusion to achieve it there are different types of roofs but i'm going to actually do a class particularly for different type of roofs that are used in our modern days architecture but that would be in our pro plus class and the price will differ of course you know so uh, roof by face then roof by surface roof by fascia this is normal fascia but roof by gutter you want to apply gutter to the roof or these are what you're going to use so what we're going to pick here we're, we're doing roof by we're doing heap roof okay so we're picking only what heap roof roof by footprint so you pick roof by footprint then you pick line and you follow round the parameters of your concrete fascia round here we go round. sorry this didn't align yes okay I'm going to trim this plate and this plate. You pick trim this and this. Okay. Don't forget this trim is under modify. Okay. So you finish it up and your roof is set. Let's view it in 3D. Okay. So you see there is an opening at the middle of the roof. So that was why I told you guys when we are creating levels i told you that you need roof top so that you be you view the top of the roof let's go to roof plan yes can you see it now can you see if you go to the rooftop you view uh you view it very well at the rooftop let's pick what we want to see underlay okay uh, roof base apply did you see so that's why we need the rooftop of the roof or the roof plan okay so let's view it in our 3d yes so here is our roof but if you can see very well this roof have a fissure and already we have a concrete parapet so and it's distracting our concrete parapet the beauty is not out very well if you if you observe very well okay so what are we going to do follow me now you click on the roof then you enter edit type okay enter edit and edit the thickness make it 10 the thickness of the roof and okay it okay it and you're done can you see no more facial everything lap very well did you see it round wow our structure i think is is okay and is out very well okay so these are to actually apply your roof and your concrete fascia to your building of course i know in your mind you say ah oh, 
the building is not looking beautiful but I'll, i'm going to teach you how to actually apply materials in our next class thank you god bless you cheers